Hey, did you check out the weather report? No. It's gonna be a cracker of a weekend. Good. Sun, sea, girls, party, party, party. Bad news, guys, the weekend's off. Oh, I thought it was too good to be true. We've lost our skipper. I thought that was you. Nah, Stuart. Well, how hard is it to drive a boat? I mean, we could handle it, couldn't we? Well, this beauty, she's humongous. Are you sure you didn't just dream this boat up, Nick? Kirsty, would I lie to you? So where's this gin palace, mate? That's it there, the equaliser. That little beauty. I thought I'd better give you this. It's an address and phone number where I can be reached in case of emergencies. A hotel? Yes, it's not permanent. I'm having my flat redecorated and the smell of paint gives me a terrible headache, so I've moved out for a few days, probably a week. I'll make a note of it. It'll take a few days for the results of the tests to come through, but I'm not expecting any surprises. Uh, Marge, can you make another appointment for Miss Stevens for next Thursday morning? Don't forget, nothing to eat after dinner on Wednesday. Thank you. So, Stu, you reckon you can handle it? I'll try. Eighty-one, eighty-two, and Damn. Hone got 94. At least that's what he says he got. Oh, well, it's pretty dead in here today, isn't it? What's the matter with everybody? A sudden outbreak of good health or something. Hey, Marge, you're up with all the latest gossip. What's the story with Jenny and Michael? I know nothing about it. Oh, come on, Margie. You can tell me. Word is they've gone away for a dirty weekend. I haven't heard a thing. Well, you're a major disappointment. I was counting on you. Now I'm going to have to make something up. Marge, are you all right? I'm fine. It's just you, you don't seem to be your normal concerned self. Look, I've got a lot of work to do and I'm here on my own. Can I help you there, Father? No, thank you, my son. I can manage. Oh, excuse me, Father. Oh, that's quite all right, my son. Mate, there's been an accident. What? 82, and it broke. I couldn't believe it. Huh. 94. Yeah, well, I find that very hard to believe. Were there any witnesses? I give you my word as a doctor. Yeah, exactly. Let all who worship him bear witness to his holy glory. Romans 13, verse 10. You know... No, he must be visiting one of the patients. Well, so what are we going to do? Oh, I've got another one in my locker. Any news from Claire? Yeah, she phoned last night. She's finally told her father about me. And? Oh, I don't think he's too impressed. Claire took him around. Mm. Hey, have you heard about Jenny and Michael? Apparently they've gone away together for the weekend. Really? <laughs> Marge didn't say anything to me about it. No, me neither. I tried to get the dirt out of her, but either she doesn't know or she's not telling. Doesn't sound like our Marge. No, it doesn't, does it? Here. Uh, righty ho. 84, was it? 94. Well, I hope you're counting. One, two. False start. OK, here we go. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, six, seventy, backwards, ninety, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mum, Mum, have we got any old jars? Look at you, where have you been? You're supposed to be helping me. In the dungeon. In the dungeon? Under the house. It's really neat. There's probably dead bodies buried there and everything. You like it here, don't you? It's all right. What do you want the jars for? Nothing. 
Andrew, why are you doing this? Look, it's not easy for me either, but I'm trying. You could at least give me a chance. Hey, I've got an idea. There's too many bedrooms here just for the two of us. Why don't we make one of them into your special room? A room where you can do whatever you want. Really? Yeah, sure, as long as you don't destroy the place. Big bedroom? Yeah, whichever one you like. Neat. Hey, don't forget I've got to go to work when the babysitter gets here. Man, I tell you, this is great. Pity about the weather, though. I was hoping to get a load of her body. <laughs> oh, settle down, mate. You're supposed to be navigating. Relax, we're doing fine. Hey, girls, you want me to put some sunblock on you? Dream on, Nick. Oh, well, at least you won't die of skin cancer. This is great. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what all the poor people are doing. <laughs> like us, you mean? Yeah. Wouldn't it be fantastic if you could do this whenever you felt like it? Yeah. You know who I feel like? Cleopatra, Queen of the Nile. <laughs> hey, Nick. Yeah? Peelers are great. And bring me great. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'd rather feel something else. Check this chart. Oh, yeah. We're about here. Um, heading here. Yeah, no problem. You're doing a great job. Do you mind taking the wheel while you're down below? It's freezing up here. Oh, Mr. Cameron's file, please, Marge. Yes, Doctor. Are oh, you on your own today? Yes. I heard Kirsty mention some beach party. Here it is. Thank you. Oh, Marge, this is uh, Mr. Carter's file. I asked for Mr. Cameron's. Oh, did you? Oh, I'm sorry. Is everything all right? Yes. How's Tom? What's the latest? The medication help? <laughs> What's wrong, Marge? Uh, no, there's nothing wrong. Come on, you can tell me. Is Tom all right? He's left me. It's all over, he says. He doesn't love me anymore and he wants a divorce. He said I betrayed him. But it's only doing what I thought was best. I didn't mean for him to get suspended. Of course you didn't. Why does he think you betrayed him? Oh, because I called the ambulance people. See, I thought it might take him some time to get used to the tablets. Well, that sounds reasonable. Did you tell Tom that? Hmm. He, he wouldn't listen. He just ranted on about being tossed on the scrap heap. I've never seen him carry on like that. Do you want me to have a word with him? Oh, wouldn't make any difference. But I just don't know what to do. I thought we'd always be together. Come on, Marge. What happened to that old fighting spirit? It's gone. Well, don't throw in the towel yet. Tom's angry. He's probably scared about losing his job. He's not thinking straight. You didn't see the look in his eyes. Give him time. He'll realise you're only doing what you thought was best. Do you think so? I'm sure. When he calms down, he'll miss you more than you miss him. You know what us men are like on our own? Hopeless. Excuse me, my children. There's a young man at the front desk requiring some attention. I'll go. No, it's all right. I'll do it. Are you sure? Yes, I'm all right. Thank you. My child. So what do you reckon, Kirsty? Pretty cool, huh? Got to hand it to old Unc. When it comes to boats, he's got taste. Me, I've got taste in other areas. How come we've never heard about your uncle before on this boat? Oh, he's a bit of an old hermit. Doesn't like people all that much. Wow, rich eccentric. Yeah, something like that. But if I'd known you liked look cruising the water, we could have done this ages ago. I've got to admit, it's pretty cool. Hey, Nick. Yeah? Are you sure we're supposed to be at the port of the island? What side's port again? Left. Yeah, I guess. According to those charts, we should be in deep water, but I mean, it looks like shoals are here. Stu, lighten up. I mean, trust me, don't it always get you into deep water? This doesn't make sense. We should have stacks of room. Pretty romantic, huh? Two guys, two girls, the sky, the sea. What was that? Oh, no. Great. Just great. 
We hit a sandbar. We're running ground. Oh, Miss Burton. A Mr. Iverson called while you're in there. Said he was your real estate agent. Uh, the flat's gone, but he might have something next week. That makes sense? Thanks, Marge. I thought your move was a temporary one. Well, I was just putting out a few feelers. Oh, seems a shame to move when you've gone to all the trouble of redecorating. Yes, well, it doesn't look like I will be if the flat's gone, does it? Hi. The place a madhouse? No, it's been quiet today. Oh, thank God. I couldn't handle any more drama. Oh, Meredith. What's going on with Miss Burton? In what way? Well, this morning she said she was moving out to a hotel while she was having a flat redecorated. But it seems now she's looking for somewhere permanent to live. People do move house, you know, Marge. It happens all the time. Excuse me, my child. Yes, Father? I'm on the lookout for troubled souls. Oh, I don't think I can help you there, Father. Oh, I think you can. You see, I overheard your unfortunate circumstances when you were talking to the doctor earlier. Mm. For diseases of the body, by all means consult a doctor. But for matters involving the immortal soul, I think my qualifications are more suited. I'm feeling much better now. Thank you anyway, Father. What shall it profit a man who gains the whole world but loses his soul? St. Mark, chapter 3, verse 36. Mm, not much, I guess. Bingo. And remember what St. Paul said. What? With the Lord's strength, all our problems will be solved. 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 14. That's a lovely thought, Father. Oh, it's much more than that, my child. Now, tell me about your problems. Marge just mentioned that you're staying in a hotel. Temporarily. While you have your house painted. Oh, I used to be a much more inventive liar. This one's up there with the dog ate my homework. Are you OK? No, I will be when I find a place. You're not having any more trouble? Only in my head I keep having nightmares, hearing things, seeing things. Oh, waking up to find an intruder in your house is a pretty traumatic experience. It'll take time. Yeah, knowing that is one thing, but this has really got me spooked. I'm trying to find a shared household. I thought I might feel safer. Well, you know, there's plenty of room at my new house. Oh, look, I appreciate it. You'd offer. be doing me a favour. It's a big old place. Too big for just Andrew and me. There's stacks of room. And it'll help pay the rent. Dr Fleming to reception, please. And you could be my live-in motherhood advisor. I need all the help I can get. <laughs> I'll think about it, OK? Sure. How oh, much? How's it going? It's all my fault. I'm a failed wife. Everything's my fault. Where'd you get that idea? Oh, this is for you, Meredith. Thank you. Come on. I was just talking to that priest out there. He said it was my duty to make our marriage work. I should never have gone behind Tom's back. And it's a mortal sin. He did, did he? I'll be back in a sec. I'm gonna have a word with this priest. It's no good. We're stuck. Well, what are we gonna do? What about the party? <sighs> what about us? We could be here for days. People do crazy things trapped on a boat. I saw this movie. Everyone dies. Gina? Well, they Hello, did. We've got a plan. Okay, what? What do we do? Nothing. We just sit here. The tide comes in, we float off. Simple. It can't be that easy. It never is. Well, how long is that gonna take? About 11 hours. The tide's just turned. It's on its way up. Hey, I said it was a plan. I didn't say it was a perfect plan. OK, OK, come on. Let's just get on the radio and radio for some help. No. Why not? We can't. It's broken. The radio's broken. Oh, it looks fine to me. It looks fine, but it's broken. I've got another plan anyway. We get in the dinghy, row to land, and walk the rest of the way to the party. Walk? Yeah, the beach is just around the headland. You sure? Positive. I wanted to sail in. I suppose it's better than sitting around here for hours. If I'd known we'd be walking, I would have bought some flat shoes. Hey, Nick, are you sure that's the right... Look, if you want to sit around here, you can. But the rest of us are going to that party. Are you OK? That's my man. Come on, let's go and get changed. Yeah. 
Want a hand? Oh well, cheer up, Stewie. We might still get lucky. Excuse me. Yes, my son. I've just left our receptionist, Marge Nielsen. She's in tears. Well, perhaps you'd like me to have a word with her, my son. No, I would not. You're the cause of the problem in the first place. Oh, truth is often a heavy burden to carry, my son. Oh, truth be damned. What you told her was a load of garbage. I thought you people were supposed to preach compassion. Oh, I sense you're angry with me, my son. Oh, you're right on that one. Well, shall we pray? The angry man knoweth not himself nor the Lord. Leviticus 10, verse 4. I'm not interested in your quotations, all right? Pride goeth before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall. Proverbs 2, verse 9. I serve the Lord, my son. Don't give me that, eh? I've seen plenty of your type. You prey upon poor susceptible people and their ignorance and superstition, and you bleed them dry until they've got nothing more to give, and then you forget about hey, them. Hey, uh, what's going on? If there was a hell, it'd be full of sanctimonious hypocrites like you. <laughs> hey, mate, calm down. Oh, what's the point? I forgive him, for he knows not what he does. Hey, what was that all about? Oh, he upset Marge. He's having problems with Tom, and the advice he gave us stunk. Well, that's it. I mean, sure, tell him to butt out, but well, I thought you were going to deck him. I was a bit angry, that's all. Well, that's a bit. I'd hate to see you when you're really mad. And I can't stand bloody parasites. Am I picking up some kind of anti-religious thing here? Oh, yes and no. I've got nothing against the theory, you know, compassion, forgiveness. Yeah, I love your fellow man. Yeah, all of that, that's all fine. But I've seen villages in South America where the people are desperately poor, the kids are starving. You bust your guts to try and keep them alive, and yet the little they have they give away to keep the church rich. It stinks. Yeah, well, maybe, but the Father Sebastian is a long way from Guatemala. It's part of the same organisation. Well, maybe I did come on a bit strong, but I'm not going to apologise. Oh, I just let it go. I'll straighten things out with him if I see him. Come on, settle down, okay? In time. You ready? Stroke. 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 Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, Nick, there must have been an easier way. I thought you said you were in a hurry. The direct route's always the quickest, eh, Stu? Yeah, this better be some party. Not just up ahead. Then it'll be all downhill to the party. We're on an island. The mainland's way over there, Nick. Oh, I can't go any further. Great, Nick. You've well and truly stuffed things up this time. Thanks a lot. Oh. Come on. Might as well go back to the boat and wait for the tide. Father, I'd uh, just like to apologise for Dr. Ropart. Oh, as we forgive the trespasses against us, wasn't it Christ who taught us to turn the other cheek? Mm. I haven't seen you here before, Father. Oh, I'm new to the parish. Uh, which patient are you here to see? I know Mrs. Kelly is very devout. Oh, I see all the patients, my son. I serve him who made the blind see and the cripples walk. Yeah, of course. Well, if there's anything I can do to help... Oh, that's very kind of you. Perhaps the good Lord has a plan for you. <laughs> well, I wouldn't know about that, Father. Remember, it's a long road with many a winding turn that leads to who knows where. Ecclesiastics, verse 13, chapter 2. <laughs> well, <laughs> I must go. There's a lot of sheep to see. See ya. The road is long with many a winding turn. Hang on, that's the Hollies. <laughs> Come on, guys, it wasn't my fault. I mean, how was I supposed to know? He was the one driving the boat, not me. Why don't you shut up, Nick? Yeah, just yeah, shut, shut up, up Nick. Nick. Bye. When the agent showed me this place, I was sold. You're lucky. There's so many dumps out there. Well, tell me about it. I looked at most of them. <laughs> oh, here you are. Do you remember New Spurton from the clinic? Hi. Hi, Andrew. She's going to be staying with us for a while. Isn't that good? Where's she going to sleep? In the spare room, of course. But that's my playroom. You promised. Well, you can have the other room, sweetheart. But that's too small. Andrew, don't be silly. You promised. Why can't she have the other one? Because she's an adult, and adult's bedrooms take priority over ten-year-old's playroom. That's not fair. Andrew, stop carrying on like this. You promised, liar! Liar! Go to your room and don't come out until I tell you. I hate you! <sighs> Sorry about that. 
we've still both got a bit of adjusting to do. Why have we stopped? Because I'm stuffed. Look at my shoes. They're ruined, Nick. I should make you pay for them. Hey! Hey, cut it out, OK? So... Hey, how come we're not getting any close to the boat? Yeah, you're right. Come on, we're going to have to rip harder. We're probably in a rip. Nick, you did anchor the boat. Why would I anchor it? It was stuck on a sandbar. Oh, God. Great. You've set a boat adrift. Well, why is it my fault? Why didn't you anchor it? Because you were at the bow. So... I'm going to get free. The tide hasn't changed. Us getting off must have lightened it. Oh, I don't like this. I'm scared. Well, just, you just calm down. How can we calm down? The boat's afloat. we got to get it. Come, come on. on. Get it. And then, OK, come on. Nick! Settle down, OK? You're just going to rise around in circles and take it easy. Come on. We've got to get it back. If we don't get it back, he'll kill me. Your uncle? No, McKenna. It's his boat. What? How did you get Dr McKenna to lend you his boat? He didn't, did he? No. Is it you or is it me? Lately I've been lost, but seems I think the change is what I need. If I'm looking for a chance, I would dream, shine that street. Taking down the whole my place, yesterday's in another place, just living for the times we've seen. When the writing on the wall says I'll be. This program is made with the help of your broadcasting feed, so you can see more of news here.